There was a blizzard outside. Cold wind gusts lifted clouds of prickly snowflakes from the ground and threw them at the rare passersby. The icy needles hurt the skin, forcing the hood tighter and pulling the hat down over the eyes. Nobody wanted to stick their noses out of the warm and cozy house in this weather. The girl stepped out into the open area between the houses. The short, skinny girl walked hurriedly down the snow-covered street. Sharp gusts of wind made her light body wobble like an aspen leaf. A hurricane gust knocked her off her feet, dropping her onto the snow. Thousands of ice crystals rushed into her mouth and eyes. The girl stood on all fours, spitting up snowflakes and cursing the violent weather. Accidentally, her gaze slid to the car beside her. A little black kitten was shivering under the vehicle. If the storm knocked down a human, how must the tiny animal have felt? The little one huddled against the tire, trying to shelter from the piercing wind. It was impossible to hide from the blizzards, so the fluffy thing squinted and shuddered from the cold. The girl felt sorry for the kitten. In this weather, leaving the baby in the yard was like cruelly locking it in the refrigerator. Gently, she took the animal in her arms, held it to her chest, and continued to fight the disaster. It was a good thing the house was only a short distance away. She took the little guy into the apartment and put him near the radiator. While the girl warmed the milk for the kitten, she noticed the strange wheezing of the animal, like a person with a heavy cough. Its little nose was constantly pouring out. Its body did not stop shivering, even after several hours in the warmth. It was obvious that the little beastie was sick. But going outside in search of vets in this weather was useless. The girl was very worried about whether her pet would be able to survive the night. But the following day, the kitten was still breathing, barely moving by the warm radiator. Fortunately, the storm had passed. The sun was shining outside, making her eyes squint at the glistening snow. The girl wrapped the kitten up warmer and went to find a vet. The animal shelter was always noisy and bustling. Adam and Maya worked there as staff veterinarians, performing surgeries, treating and vaccinating all their pets. When a visitor with a black kitten showed up on the doorstep, Adam was turning in his shift to Maya. The girl talked about how she found the kitten in the snow and gave it to both specialists. Both vets decided to examine the animal. The doctors did not like the strange wheezing. After diagnosis and tests, it turned out that the kitten had caught a respiratory infection. The terrible cold and hunger in which the animal had existed for the last time caused severe health complications. Now the baby was in pain, slowly fading away. I see no other option, Adam sadly concluded. We need to euthanize the animal to alleviate its suffering. Maya nodded sadly and automatically began to stroke the kitten's head. The chances of survival were slim. Most likely the animal would suffer despite the treatment and then the disease would kill it. Suddenly the doctor's musings were interrupted by a quiet, soothing sound. Maya froze, but the kitten under her fingers continued to vibrate. The baby squinted and purred at the unctuous caress. The animal accepted the care with such pleasure that people's hearts trembled. Let's try it, Maya suggested. If there is no improvement, we will do what we have to do. But what if it works? Look how cute it is, how it purrs. Adam hesitated too. The rationally made decision turned out to be wrong. The kitten continued to purr, pleasing the doctors. Okay, let's do it, the man agreed. The veterinarians agreed on treatment for the poor animal. After the first treatments, Adam finally went home, and Maya stayed at work. There were many different things to do during the day. Routine checkups, a dog giving birth, and treatment of two cats brought in by the masters. Maya was everywhere, and at the same time, she had time to keep an eye on the black kitten. There was no significant change in his condition. The treatment promised to be long, so the woman was not depressed. She carefully fed the baby, gave him medicine and injections, and then sat by his side all night long. In the morning, Maya was shifted by Adam. He also carefully watched the kitten, managing to help the others. The constant care gave positive results. 
Gradually, the baby's condition began to improve, and soon he was running merrily around the veterinarian's office. They decided to name the animal Rad. The cat was curious and companionable. He liked to sit next to the veterinarians, watching their work. The little cat followed every movement of the people and looked at the animals that the veterinarians treated. Finally, Adam and Maya decided that the kitty was fully recovered and could be released to the other residents of the shelter. Both doctors wanted to be part of the event. Rad became the patient who was pulled from the afterlife and nursed longer than the other patients, and he also purred perfectly, soothingly, and bringing a smile to everyone's lips. The cat was given a holiday treat. As soon as the plate was empty, Maya picked up the cat in her arms. Adam had already opened the door to the inside of the shelter. The doctors hurried back when the doorbell rang, leaving the black cat on the floor. A frightened man stood in the waiting room with the furry cat in his arms. The owner said the animal had gotten sick and he came right away. Adam carried the cat indoors. Maya followed him, not even noticing that Rad had followed. The cat turned out to have severe poisoning. Doctors urgently began to clean the stomach in order to save the animal. After the unpleasant procedure was over, Maya gave the patient an injection to remove the toxins from her system. She and Adam took samples of the extracted food and went to the lab to determine the poisonous substance. Rad sat discreetly and quietly in the corner of the room the entire time the procedure was in progress. As soon as the humans left the room, he calmly walked over to the couch. The black cat gently jumped up. An injured cat was lying in front of him. A catheter was sticking out of its paw, and its sides were breathing heavily. The sight of the unfortunate animal pacified Rad. The cat lay down nearby, purred, and began to lick the patient's head. When the doctors returned, they found an idealistic scene. Rad comforted the injured cat and gave a real trill with his purring. The doctors took the cat away from the patient, but a couple of minutes later, it was back in its place. The patient really looked less frightened. When the cat was picked up by its owner, the doctors brought the dog in for sterilization. After surgery, the animal was placed on the couch and covered with a blanket. Rad immediately jumped to the dog. This time, he did not lick the patient, just lay down next to him and loudly purred. The cat worked until the dog went home. Maya and Adam were greatly surprised by the animal's behavior. It was as if Rad was protecting the sick animals, supporting them morally, trying to take away their fear and pain. This was a behavior people had never seen before. A ceremonial transfer of a healthy cat to the cattery took place, though not very ceremonious. Rad snatched out of arms and meowed. The newcomer felt uncomfortable among the other cats in the shelter. The fur on his scruff was ruffled, and his eyes were constantly running from side to side in search of a potential threat. The humans wished him luck and went about their business. They were sure Rad would need some time to adjust to his new surroundings. A day passed, then two, then three, but the cat was still not comfortable in his new surroundings. He did not find his place among the healthy animals. He did not get into fights, but constantly walked away from the others. When visitors came to adopt some of the cattery's inhabitants, Rad was carefully hidden in the corner of the cage so they wouldn't notice him. He missed the veterinary station. Once, the door to the inner room was left half open. The new janitor was not yet used to the quick-footed inhabitants, forgetting to close the doors, and then catching the animals in a variety of places. The black furry cat took advantage of the man's oversight and slipped into the gap. Outside the door, the cat sniffed and headed for the vet's door. It smelled of medicine and sickness, and also of unfortunate animals that needed support. Rad hid behind a trash can and sat for a long time, waiting. Finally, when the door opened, the cat rushed in, almost knocking Adam off his feet. The man saw the black animal and immediately realized who it could be, but there was no time to rummage through the closets for a cat. A large young dog was brought in with an unknown disease. The symptoms and tests showed several possible causes. There was no way to get an exact diagnosis. There was only one option left, to try different treatments. 
Adam decided to consult with colleagues from the other clinics in the country, but they all also had no idea what to do. Everyone advised to start with different medications. By the time they could find the proper treatment, the dog might die. The man in the lobby explained the situation to the owner and then entered the treatment room with him. The dog lay in his previous position with Rad purring beside him. The cat snuggled into the sick dog's stomach and massaged it with his paws. Adam tried to move the cat away from the patient, but it stubbornly returned and poked its nose into his stomach again. The doctor was about to get angry when the owner of the dog said, Where is the cat pointing? What do you mean? Adam didn't understand. The cat, the man nodded toward Rad. He's obviously trying to point at something. Is it his liver or something? Adam was struck by the shock. He's right. That could be the cause of his illness. The doctor began retaking tests and doing an ultrasound on the dog. During the procedures, the cat sat quietly on the windowsill, away from the fussing people. When the dog was quietly put down again, the cat jumped from his seat. He walked over to the patient, lay down next to him, and purred loudly. Tests proved Adam's suspicions. The dog did indeed have sporadic liver disease. By identifying the source of the problem, it was easier to treat. Now, Adam had prescribed treatments that would definitely get the dog healthy. The animal's happy owner thanked the doctor and then hugged Rad. The man said that his faithful friend would not have survived without this cat. When the door closed behind the visitors, Adam looked at the black animal. Rad tried to hide under the medicine cabinet, but was immediately intercepted by familiar hands. Adam praised the cat, petted, and allowed it to stay with the doctors. Now the cat had become something of a nurse. He lay down and purred near all the animals that had undergone surgery, and in some cases, he helped find the sick place of the patients. Adam and Maya rescuing a sick kitten had no idea they would find a faithful helper in their business. Want more stories? Welcome to the channel! Here you will be immersed in an atmosphere of lightness, coziness, and unpredictability. Each story is unique, intriguing, and very soulful. We look forward to seeing you on the channel. Link in the description.